from MTN News, this is Montana This Morning. Again, that is our Jane McDonald, uh, the quietest uh, keys we've had in a while. Um, yeah, Mike, right. Uh, we'll get that uh, fixed here in a moment. Uh, that's a live shot uh, from the Mining City this morning, Community Hospital of Anaconda's Eye Cam. Uh, snow. Uh, ice. Lots of places. Uh, slick conditions. Uh, it is dangerous out there this morning. Uh, several incidents, accidents have been reported, but uh, not as many as I had expected uh, with Which that amount great. of ice. That's down um, snow and ice on Bozeman Pass, uh, Homestake Pass and down the Gallatin Canyon. Just plan on extra time if you have to travel, and I'd wait. Um, <laughs> for a while. For yeah. a while, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, it is like we do have more bands of snow. It's not going to last a tremendous amount of time. We're not going to see a ton of additional snow. Right now it's uh, mainly just a real fine snow, but icy conditions. You can see the roadways are packed with snow and ice in Bozeman. We have a good chance of seeing snow through the early afternoon in the Bozeman area. It should taper off a little sooner in Butte. There's some flashing lights. I can't tell if that's uh, street no, crews I can't or. Tell either, yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, uh, leave some extra time as you're heading out this morning. We're going to talk more in depth about what you can expect in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Matt. 634, uh, we're going to check back in with our Jane McDonald live at the uh, Flower Bar here in just a little bit. She's going to chat with the owner live here. Uh, meantime, uh, some other headlines on this uh, Tuesday. Bozeman police arrested a man they say was preparing to smoke fentanyl in a bathroom stall at the Gallard Valley Mall on Saturday. Police say 23-year-old Austin Eugene Cooper, a well-known drug user who was found passed out in the bathroom by a mall security guard. Officer reported that several mall patrons, including children, were located in the food court just outside that bathroom. Security officer said he had evacuated other patrons from the bathroom before police arrived. Responding officer noted in court documents that by heating a deadly drug in a confined space, Cooper placed the innocent public at unnecessary risk. 635 now, Gallatin County officials are hoping a new partnership will improve mental health care. The county used to have a contract, Hope House, a facility that provided mental health crisis services, but without Hope House, there's been a gap in services. As MTN's Edgar Cedillo explains, a new provider may help close that gap. Gallatin County officials say for years that the county has struggled with adequate mental health infrastructure, but now this new partnership hopes to bridge that gap and add just more mental health services to a county desperately in need of them. We see such a huge need, um, you know, to the point where, where when we're tracking incoming traffic and who's looking for counseling services, uh, sometimes we, we track how many calls we're getting, but also how many people have we had to turn away because we're just simply too full. Dr. Jeffrey Ellens is a psychiatrist and owner of Lotus Counseling here in Bozeman. He's been practicing in town for about seven years, and in those years, he's seen a demand in people seeking mental health help. I think that uh, that's, that's a huge problem. You have people at, at a point in their lives where they're ready to reach out, they're realizing that they could benefit from services. Gallatin County, on the other hand, has been trying to fill a gap with mental health infrastructure after their contract with Hope House ended. Now, they're getting ready to see more support come in from a new provider. A, a partner called Connections Health Solutions that's going to work in our community um, to help us build out of more functional crisis, uh, mental health crisis. Contract with Connections Health Solutions, which is based out of Arizona, and they started services last July. The big addition so far is the Mobile Crisis Unit, which is a system uh, of mental health licensed mental health service providers. Taking the weight off of county services, like the Sheriff's Office. Uh, allows us to do is, is dispatch mental health professionals directly to those scenes, which is often more appropriate than law enforcement or an ambulance. And now they're working on opening a facility that would be able to treat people in-house. Getting more and more optimistic by the day, but it's a slow process to put everything together. And they're currently waiting on a permit for construction from the city to build a new facility here in Bozeman, which could take around six months after approval. In Bozeman, Edgar Cidio, MTN News. All right, 637 again. Our uh, Jane McDonald live this morning at the uh, uh, Bozeman Flower Bar. Uh, she's been uh, dealing with those folks down there all this morning on one of the busiest work days of the entire year for them. We're going to check back in with her in just a little bit. Right now, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, oh, actually, it looks like uh, Jane is here right uh, now. So uh, let's uh, head live to the Bozeman Flower Bar. Jane McDonald uh, being joined by a special guest. Go ahead, Jane. 
absolutely. Chet, it's always great to see you on this Monday, on this Tuesday morning. We are with Rochelle. Rochelle is the owner of the Flower Bar here in Bozeman. And Rochelle, tell me a little bit about yourself and most importantly, tell me a little bit about uh, Valentine's Day and what all goes into being a florist on this busy day. Um, hi, I'm Rochelle. Um, I just uh, started this business out of my garage about five years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we grew and grew and grew, and every year for Valentine's Day, um, we just really love creating um, arrangements that are going to be delivered all throughout Bozeman. Um, the surprises of the oohs and ahs as the delivery driver walks in, um, that just that brings us so much joy, and that's what we're here for. Absolutely, and tell me a little bit about the deliveries today. How many deliveries are you looking at? How many pickups? What can, what can you expect from um, today? Yeah, so... Um, Valentine's Day is one of our biggest holidays. Mm -hmm. um, big delivery day. People just want you to show up and to, su to surprise and delight mm -hmm. someone. Um, and so we hire extra delivery drivers. The planning for this day begins six months ago um, during Christmas when everyone else is worrying about Christmas stuff. I'm sitting here looking at spreadsheets, <laughs> hours, how many arrangements we need to make, how many de delivery drivers to make it all happen in one day. Um, my goal is to be able to get everything out the door by two mm -hmm. so that everyone has most of the day to enjoy the arrangements. Um, but yeah, so be looking for that flower bar van driving around town um, and our delivery drivers um, popping up in your workplace Fantastic. and spraying our flowers. Well, and last thing, when your head hits the pillow tonight, when you are over Valentine's Day of 2023, what will you remember from today? Um, from today, just how hard my team worked. Mm -hmm. I have a really great team here, a lot of just really creative people. Mm -hmm. um, we hired some freelance drivers just from my Instagram page and friends of friends. So it's just so nice to see that the community everyone comes together to help pull this mm -hmm. day off um, and then we get to wake up tomorrow and plan for Mother's Day. I love so. it. It's never a dull moment. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Well, Rochelle, thank you very much for joining us thank early you. on this Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day you to you. Too. And Chet, thank you very much for having us live out on location. It's never a dull moment over here. That is absolutely true. Uh, thank you, Jane. Thank you, Rochelle, for uh, opening up your business to us this morning. We're going to check back in with uh, Jane uh, here before we wrap up the show. Right now, we're going to take a break. We've been talking about flowers for Valentine's Day. Let's go to the other one, chocolate. We know it tastes good. I'm Ian Lee with new research revealing why chocolate is so irresistible. Weather starts now with meteorologist Matt Elwell. It is 643, uh, just did a measurement, uh, just a hair over three inches here on the Billings Clinic Bozeman weather patio this morning. Part of the problem is we've got some ice underneath that that is causing even more issues. I had to put a little uh, ice melt down so that we could get out here this morning. Um, don't have that luxury on our roadways. In fact, uh, most areas are dealing with uh, pretty slick conditions this morning. It looks like a fine snow falling in Butte. Our temperatures are frigid. Watch those bridges and overpasses. Those tend to freeze up first in this type of situation. Uh, ice packed onto our Bozeman ICAM. 26 degrees our temperature right now. Snow and ice on Bozeman Pass, Homestake Pass, Gallatin Canyon, um, we're not seeing a ton of incidents or accidents uh, according to MHP as it stands right now, but there are some slide offs out there. Uh, again, expect to see slow conditions and we still have some bands of snow to add to this. I think a lot of us will probably end up in that um, three to five inch range here in southwest Montana, probably one to three in Butte uh, again as we go through the morning. The snow is going to push through uh, pretty quickly and then we're going to see that colder, uh, more clear air that we see up out uh, in Canada as we're um, looking out wide. Uh, that cold air just continues to push through here. And once you get past the noon hour, most of that snow is going to uh, work its way out of our skies. Again, uh, latest model runs additional one to two inches. We could see uh, slightly more uh, from this point forward. Uh, the latest model run in Butte 
looks less than an inch, but uh, definitely uh, slick conditions as we deal with temperatures falling throughout the day. Uh, morning snow, slick roadways, winds between 10 and 20 miles an hour. Uh, that will push visibilities down across the area. Uh, we'll see that scattered snow taper as you get uh, past about one or two in the Bozeman area. Tonight, um, it's going to be clearing and cold, uh, several areas below zero, and that's not going to help us get rid of uh, slick roadways here in southwest Montana. Uh, forecast calling for temperatures into the low 20s Wednesday, Thursday, and then Sunday, another system rolls through, likely to bring scattered snow showers by Sunday afternoon and evening and uh, make things a little more slick on Monday. Again, leave some extra time this morning as you're heading out and expect to see uh, some delays throughout the morning. We'll talk more about that school day forecast in just a few minutes.